Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Diamond Selects Frank Miller's Sin City Hartigan. Uh, Hartigan, I don't know how to say his name exactly, but uh, this is the main character from uh, one, like a great uh, graphic novel, uh, Sin City, The Yellow Bastard. Um, I have not seen the uh, latest Sin City movie. I want to read all the books before I do, so I haven't been reading comics in general lately, so I, I definitely need to get back into that. Anyway, you get a picture of Bruce Willis, who plays the character there. I think he did a good job. Uh, you get Marv walking there, and then you get another picture of Bruce Willis. On the back, you can see um, the, the figure. Then, uh, here's the read-up, if you want to read it. Pause it now. And the other two figures you can get in this, uh, wave, uh, it's Marv and Nancy, which I still need to pick up. I, I always seen her, but I always passed on her, I don't know why, but now I definitely want to pick her up. Uh, it, I did get this on sale, uh, it's probably going to be on sale mostly everywhere, but this guy, he went through a lot, if you read, if you read the, uh, comics or graphic novel, either or, um, he went through hell, and <laughs> it, it's, uh, unfortunate events, but, anyways, uh, I'm gonna get, get this guy opened up, and when we come back, we're gonna be taking a better look at Hardigan, 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 Hart Egan, I don't know, anyways, I'll be back. Alright, I got, uh, Mr. Hardigan, Hartigan, I need to read I need to watch the movie again just to see, but, uh, pretty impressive figure, uh, it's got some nice details in him, um, I do really like the base he comes with, I think it's, um, uh, if you know what happens at the end, um, uh, uh, I think you would say uh, it's a pretty good base, uh, for posing options, but, uh, let's take a look at his accessories, actually, let's take a look at his base first, uh, he stands pretty well, I, I mean, a very limited figure, he's more limited than Marv, but, uh, you can, you got this, uh, base, it all comes in ones, you don't have to put it together or anything, uh, pretty nice, uh, like the dry brushing going throughout the wood there, I don't like how it looks like it's broken, but I don't I don't think it was broken. I mean like was it broken? <laughs> it, or maybe I don't know. It's just it's a little odd that it's just it looks like snapped, but uh you can see some nice details in the ropes here. Let's get this to focus a bit more. You got some wood greens. The greens on top. He's got some more down there. Some I don't know what that is actually, but uh, then he's got this like second base because uh, it is technically on a dock. So um, yeah. Uh, getting this back up. Uh, he does come with two accessories. I don't. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But his python, uh, very. Uh, Let's get this light to go lower. Yeah, I got a thing from my short films, but I've been, yeah. Um, yeah, I think this is a little too futuristic, I think. Um, I like the handle, I think that was pretty good. You can see the chambers there. Got. The, yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's, it's alright, I guess, from afar, yeah, it's, but, it's alright, it's not the best thing in the world, but I do like the paint a little bit, uh, let's get some white there, so, yeah, it's not the best thing in the world, now, he does have this thing here, which I honestly don't know, I might know, but, I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil it. It's it's a really great story, and I, I definitely recommend it. That, out of um, what seven, eight books, maybe nine. Uh, it's 
it's nothing impressive. It's got the it's got these two little lines in there and then that. It's like a little club. And I just get a messed up focus. And it just slides right through it. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't get it back on. Just kind of slide it in kind of. There we go. Now uh, I highly suggest keeping that rubber band in if you want to keep him posed with it. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I am going to keep him posed with it. So, yeah. Anyways, let's take a look at his face. Yeah, look at those eyes. <laughs> um, and, I mean, yeah, that does look like Bruce Willis, but I feel like they were trying to go for Bruce Willis rather than Harrigan, Hardigan, Hartigan, Hartigan, I don't know. I'm butchering the name so bad. <laughs> butch, 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 get it? Butch from Pulp Fiction, yeah. Uh, the hair is nice. I like the dry brushing in it. Although, I don't think he had light hair. I mean, yeah, I guess he did. I mean, I don't know. I think they could have given him a little darker hair. Uh, he's got the little cross on his forehead there. Pretty nice. Would not like to have that scar, but I just got this little beard going on here. Looks all right. Uh, love this white tie. I think this is a very unique um, character design. Looks very cool. Stands out a lot. You can see all these nice wrinkles, some wrinkles in the shirt. You can see some buttons and stuff and pockets. Looks very cool. He's got this little his little badge. I, I, I wish they made that uh, a lighter gray, maybe even white, just to make it more uh, attention to detail. So this is definitely in the beginning of the book, because um, he's about to, he's a, he's a cop, and he's about to retire, so, yeah, and he has, like, heart problems and stuff, so, yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty... It is a pretty intense story. Anyways, it's got all these wrinkles here. And there's the buckles on the sleeves. On the back, it's a really nice trench coat. Um, it looks very similar to Marv's. Uh, very similar, except less wrinkles. Um, it's got this little belt thing. Pockets. Yeah, really nice wrinkles. I've had this guy in, hang on, okay, hang on, I'll, I'll finish this first. Uh, it's got the pants, suit, suit pants, pants suits, pants for suits, uh, nice wrinkles, love the shoes, I think the shoes are really nice. There's not that many figures with, uh, in a suit, you know, uh, like Jim Gordon's one of them, depending on which one you get, actually. Uh, who else? I can't even think of one. Uh, I guess you could technic technically say the T-1000 by NECA, but, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I really do like this figure. Um, for articulation, uh, his head is on a ball joint, but it is affected by this, uh, collar piece. He can move side to side, and he does have head pivot. I just saw me botch a little bit there. Um. He does have a uh, that, yeah diaphragm joint. It, it's 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 very hard to move because of the jacket, and I mean it's not the worst thing because he's not a very he doesn't do too much from what I remember, but uh, can move forward very little, moves back not at all because of the trench coat, and his uh, arm is on a ball joint and hinge. Can't really move out too far, and can't move in, which is so unfortunate. But uh, there is a single bend at the uh, elbow. Can uh, swivel side to side. There is a swivel in the hand. No hinge. It's a slight hinge, but I don't think it is. It is affected by the trench coat. A lot of this figure is affected by the trench coat, unfortunately. This leg can move out quite a bit. Again. 
trench coat kind of alters the um, hip articulation, but that's pretty, that's far enough. Uh, there's a thigh cut, single bend in the knee that goes quite far. I like that. Uh, and a, it looks like a ball joint. And there's a ball joint in the foot so it can move side to side. Uh, swivel, pivot, no, uh, hinge, and pivot. Uh, here, I'm going to show a size comparison. Or, yeah, it's size comparison. Let's give Hardigan his gun so he's not alone. I would, I'm hoping that Frank Miller did to make a comic with these two. Because I would love to see these two, like, fighting technically the good guys. Um, I can't, he's... I've, he's, his joints are going to get so loose, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, here is Marv from The Hard Goodbye. Um, I re if you go back, I like you're going to have to go back close to the beginning of my YouTube channel, because I reviewed this guy so long ago. I mean, you can tell his loose joints are not helping. There we go. Um, let me try to straighten out hard again as much as I can. Um... I was really, I'm still really hoping that they'll make, um, what's his name, Dwight, uh, from Sin City. Uh, I don't, I don't really care which one, either from the Big Fat Kill or, um, a Dame to Kill for. Uh, either one I'd be very happy with. Oh my god, just stand, Bruce Willis, stand. Why is Mickey Rourke standing better than you? There we go. Um, but, yeah, he's about to fall back, isn't he? Come on, just do a knock and it'll work. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm still really hoping that they'll make uh, white. I think that would be awesome. Maybe a house, I would never make a custom. I'm too lazy for that. And I'm too afraid I would mess it up so many times. It would just be a waste of money at that point. Um, I'm just wondering if he can do something, which I don't think he can, and uh, I don't think he could, um, but yeah, uh, this figure is very good, uh, he's most likely on sale everywhere, it's probably, like, cheaper than what I bought him for in, on Amazon, I'm not sure, so they don't, like, hate me if it isn't, but, um, Definitely, uh, if, I definitely recommend reading the comics, um, if not, or the graphic novel, sorry, if you want to go by, uh, literal terms, but if you don't have time to read, or you just don't like reading, um, definitely watch the movie, because it is very, it is, it's just taken right off in the page, and you'd think it would take a lot longer, I mean, I think they did cut out a lot of the dialogue, but that's besides the point, it's still pretty exact page to page, um, so, and I think they picked the perfect guy to do Her Hardigan, because I feel like, um, um, was Mark Miller, was like Mark Miller, yeah. Frank Miller. Sorry, I'm thinking of Frank Millar. Um, I think he did base Hardigan's Hardigan's look from um, uh, Hartigan from uh, Bruce Willis. I'm starting to think that, but uh, Mickey, I mean Marv right here, definitely not because um, Mickey Rourke got plastic surgery, and it was awful, so, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm rambling, I, yeah, I haven't made a video in a while, I'm sick, and I don't like making videos during the week, uh, there's a snowstorm going on, I'm not sure if you could hear it. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to see so much more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video, peace, thanks for watching.